Welcome back to Card Corner. Today we are going to the desert, baby, because we are doing an unboxing and review of the brand new Mirage Playing Cards by Lotus in Hand. Before we continue with the review, please like this video. It really helps out my channel. And make sure to subscribe to catch all future unboxings and reviews. This is my son. For every like this video gets, my son gets one can of his favorite wet food. Tuna and cheddar and gravy. If you do not like this video, I cannot afford to feed my son. I'm just kidding, this channel does not make money. And that's why you need to like this video so I can feed my son. All right, we have the new Lotus in Hand Mirage playing cards. It's been a while. Since I've bought a Lotus in Hand deck, and by it's been a while, I mean I've only ever bought the first Echo deck. And then I made a bit of an oopsie and bought the Ether Duo deck before I realized a very specific detail in an ad card. <coughs> oh shit. Anyways, I only bought one, but let's just jump right into it. On the front of the tuck box is the back design. On the side here, it says Mirage. We get the Lotus in Hand logo on the top of the tuck box right here. On the bottom, it says 888 printed, very specific number. It's got a pull tab here, so you can open these cards nice and easily. There it is. Ooh, very nice fan. There's the Ace of Spades, very simple, very minimalist. It's just a spade. For the Black Pips, we get this kind of tan brown color. And the actual cards themselves are a bit of an off-white. Here's a look at the court cards, standard court cards. We incorporate more of that brown color as well as a very, very faint kind of pink. It's like a brownish pink almost. For the red court cards, we get this kind of raspberry color. It's not an exact match to the color on the back. Like I said, it's more of a raspberry. You get the same color scheme in the court cards, except the pips are, of course, that raspberry color. Here are the jokers. I really like that piece of art in the middle there. No frills, just two jokers, no ad cards, keeping it plain and simple. Jokers are matching. So these were made in Taiwan. They were printed by Dex, D-E-X. Oh, uh, they feel kind of weird. They're a bit chalky, which is actually like, I feel like a little bit unusual for decks from Taiwan. I tend to be a fan of decks made in Taiwan. These are not as smooth as I'm used to. Let's just get right into an out of box rating. Back design, it's a one way back design. It's a pretty funky one way back design. I love the desert scene on the bottom here. It looks like this is like an actual photograph of some cactus in this deserty scene. And then we get this cool artwork on top of this wavy checkerboard pattern. It's funky and it's bold. I love the colors. I love the concept. I will give the back design a solid eight and a half. Feeling and handling. All right, obviously, like always, I'm gonna have to break these in and handle them for a while before I know what my true feelings are on them. But if I'm being honest, out of the box, not super impressed. Oh shit. They kind of don't feel amazing right out of the box. They're a bit chalky. They're a bit clunky feeling. They feel pretty close to the anyone ready-made playing cards actually, except not even as good as those. I'm pretty underwhelmed with how they feel in my hands right now. Rough start, but I'm going to have to give the feeling and handling like a seven out of the box. Who knows, maybe they will break in well, but for now, kind of stinky. Overall theme and aesthetic. So for this deck, they kept it pretty simple, pretty basic. They did kind of the bare minimum of color changing when it comes to the court cards. I would have loved to see this checkerboard pattern and these specific colors incorporated into the court cards in some way. I think if the court cards had some of that checkerboard pattern in their clothes, that would have been really cool. Or even if they did more matching when it comes to the back design colors, we get that raspberry purple color for the red court cards. But I would have loved to see this kind of pinkish orange color in the black suits. We get some custom jokers, which is great. The Ace of Spades is 
nothing. <laughs> it's just a spade. Any sort of customization would have been cool there if it said Mirage or I don't know. It's, I, I feel like they underutilized the theme of Mirage. You could have even made like the spade like all wavy and kind of like acid trippy, you know? Also feeling a little underwhelmed with how they went about the customization of the faces and the court cards. I will give the theme and aesthetic also a seven out of 10. All right, honestly, lower scores than I expected right off the bat, but I will play with these cards for a while and uh, I will be right back. All right, here is my final score and review of the Mirage playing cards. Back design. Out of the box, I gave these an 8.5. We're gonna stick with an 8.5. It's a pretty cool, funky back design. It's a one-way back design. It's pretty cool looking. Feeling and handling. Out of the box, I gave these a seven. I'm going to have to stick with a seven. Shit. I used an interesting word in my review. I called them clunky which I don't think I've ever used that word before to describe a deck of cards, but for some reason that fits. I don't know, man. They don't feel amazing. Have I handled worse decks of cards? Yes. In the world of cardistry decks though, I expect more from Lotus in hand. I'm pretty disappointed with how they feel. Overall theme and aesthetic, out of the box, I gave these a seven. Sticking with a seven, I think I made some pretty good points. Not a whole lot of mirage outside of just the back design. They could have incorporated the back design a lot more into the court cards. They could have done anything else to give off mirage vibes when it comes to the pips or the ace of spades. And you know, they just like didn't. So I'm sticking to a seven. Oh God! Overall, that gives the Mirage playing cards a total deck score of 7.5. That's like a, it's like a C plus. C? It's not a C, I don't think it's a C minus. It's a C or a C plus. It's like a barely good movie, you know? Really fun back design, but they could have done more with this deck of cards. Especially considering they collab with an actual artist on this deck. The fact that they didn't customize it more, just like, is it lazy? Is it they just didn't wanna spend more money? I don't know, but overall, I feel like this deck had a lot of wasted potential. 7.5, not the worst score to get. Not the best score to get either. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video so I can feed my child and make sure you subscribe and you can even hit that bell button to get notified when the next review drops. If you'd like to sponsor Card Corner, you can email me at jakejarviscards at gmail.com. But until then, I will see you on the next one. Shit.